to DC RB News. I'm your host, Dana B. Today, we bring you live in London, where the UNICEF concert is currently taking place. Here is Rachel with more information. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Rachel Terlambis, and I'm currently here in central London, where the National Child Labour Brick Factory concert hosted by UNICEF is happening. The purpose of organizing this concert is to invoke more people to protect children and to inform parents, brick factory owners, and concerned people that child labor in brick factories can have major consequences to child health and development. I'm currently here with 13-year-old Cho Chang, a child laborer working in brick factories who wants to share her experiences about what her life is like. Everyone, please welcome Cho Chang. I've been working in brick factories for over four years now. I've not been in school since then. My job involves lifting clay, putting them into machines, drying bricks, loading them onto and out of the kiln, and firing the kiln. The work is very hard, and I only get paid a thousand reels a day, or 0.25 US dollars a day. I work 10 hours a day. I've experienced hand injuries, cuts on my foot, by objects that have fallen off the kiln. And I've been to the hospital many times. Thank you so much, Cho Chang. Now, back to Dana for the daily weather. Thank you, Rachel. Now for our child labor news report. We have a whopping 18 products of child labor in India. Of 14 in Burma, 13 in Bangladesh, 13 in Brazil. Getting lower on our child labor report, we have 12 in the Philippines, 12 in China, as well as 11 down here in Argentina and 11 in Mexico. Getting even lower, we have a 9 in Pakistan. That was your child labor report. Thank you and have a good night. Bless you, my friend.